welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome to you today we're doing the weekly reads and i'm going to be reading for the lovely virgos so virgo without further ado let's start shuffling the cards i've got the dream decoder cards this week and i'm just going to go on the artwork of these cards just to see what energy starts the week for you virgo 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 I did have some one-liners for each star sign this week. What did I have for you, Virgo? Let's just have a flick in my book. Virgo. Back to the drawing board, Virgs. It's back to the drawing board for you this week. On a situation, so let's get some... Actually, that definitely wanted to come out. And that's strange, because look, back to the drawing board, guys. Um, so, the actual symbol at the back for the dreams is being at school dreams of being a pupil at school or some other place of learning usually relates to your lessons you need to learn in your working life perhaps a basic principle or skill you've forgotten but i just feel back to the drawing board then um for yourself so let's just get some clarification as to why that might be virgo something not going to plan something that needs to be looked at again maybe you've uh run out of a budget on something or other and you're thinking oh hang on a minute let's get back to the drawing board and see where we can cut corners it may be that your your money isn't as um lucrative coming in over this period and you're thinking where can i cut corners where can i save money for some of my virgos as well i feel like some of you may have been out laying too much and it's like hang on we've got to pull the reins back back to the drawing board and let's see where we can save money for some and not all I've got the lovers here, um, so there's passions running high, but I feel passions in this sense is passioning about getting your life in order, Virgo. Passions in, I need to sort myself out, I need to get organised, so you've got this deep passion within you where I do feel um, you are sorting things out, okay? I also want to say for a very, very small minority of you, later on in the year, you could be planning a reunion, um, an old school reunion because I look at the blackboard with the school and the lovers here it's like you will cross paths with somebody who you were either an item with or somebody you liked back in your old school days that is only going to be for a small minority but I wanted to bring that in there so we've got these cards that are flipped out for you and we've got the high priestess okay deep thinking meditation putting your manifestations out there because we've got the five of pentacles energy here where I feel an exhaustion. It's as though some of you feel like you've gone down all these different avenues um, to try and sort things out financially, it could be. But some of them, some of you are trying too hard. Okay, some of you are trying too hard saying you've got a new key of opportunity here. But some of you are fearful in taking a leap of faith. I feel some of you may uh, be looking at thinking to yourself, well, should I get another job? Should, should I get an extra job to bring the money in? Um, and it's like this uh, rabbit caught in the headlight scenario. Well, what do I do for the best? I don't know what to do. Should I stay put half a loaf's better than none and cut back and see how we go for a bit? Or do I take this part-time job on and, and let's see where this door of opportunity leads us to? At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what decision you make, um, it'll be a conscious decision and it'll be the decision that you were, you know, the universe had planned for you eons ago. So don't make a meal of it, Virgo, because in life, on a day to day basis, we get caught up in our thought processes and we make our life a sufferance only through our thought process. So you know what? It's like to say, go back to the drawing board and don't worry so much. Let everything start to unfold as it should do, okay? So let's have a look what's in your deep inner psyche. Virgs, what's going on in your deep inner psyche? What have you got going on for the lovely Virgo? And we have absence. So deep within your core um psyche you're thinking of the word absence you're thinking you've taken yourself away you feel like you need to withdraw okay in order to be able to deal with the issues around you um i also feel for some of you the absence is about this 
um, person from your past, this school your reunion, where you think to yourself, you know, I've been absent from their company for years. I've been absent from not seeing that person. So there's something niggling away within you where there's this absence. If it's not a person, it's a situation, okay? Um, but we've got the heart here, so I feel it's affecting your heart chakra where you feel a pull on not having seen somebody. And I know we can't see um, the norm at the moment. So it could be just that that is playing on you as well, where you can't connect with your nearest and dearest. So let's have a look what the um, universe wants to say to you. What message have you got from the universe for Virgo, please? I feel like that one wants to come out for you, Virgo. And we've got inspiration. And the message reads, Your love, light and wisdom touches the hearts and minds of many. You will be instrumental in helping another person change the course of their life. Miracles, inspiration and a healing result. So it's saying here, what you practice and what you preach and what your guidance you touch a lot of people and you make their life a better place, okay? And I feel in you helping others in a, in a roundabout way, it gives you, your, um, gives you some healing as well. So the universe is saying you're on, you know, you are helping other people um, change the course of their life. And in doing so, I feel that it is that engagement that is making you heal as a person as well because it's giving you a focus and some inspiration that is a lovely card to come out for you Virgo so let's have a look what the uh, fairy realms message is what have you got for Virgo from the fairies okay and we have purity always trust in the purity of your heart look inside your heart and within it you will find the answer to your question and that's what I said, you need to be going in and soul searching. So it's saying, what would your higher self do in this situation? Okay, what would your higher spirit um, do? So it's saying again, listen to your inner voice and go with your gut feeling. So I'm just going to clarify that card for you as well. So what else have we got going on for the lovely Virgs? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. And we have the five of wands. So there is some issue around you of struggles, okay? Where, as I said at the very start, it could be to do with um, there's a situation around you that you need some clarity on at the moment. Financially, it could be as well. So you are battling some struggles here and you are finding things at the moment um, not easy going. But look what comes out, guys. We've got the sun. So it's saying these struggles you will work through them, okay? And just know that by the end of this week, you will feel lightened, more energised and less burdened. So let's just get the animal spirit cards and see what we've got coming out in the animal spirit cards for you. So, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. And we have the coyote and it's transformation, creation, cunning and good fortune. Okay, so we have the coyote energy around you and also the dog, which is devotion, protection and service. The dog energy I want to take as um, your energy because I look at loyalty there. There's loyalty here around um, a situation or a person that takes on the coyote um, spirit energy and it's saying good fortune and creation okay cunning i feel as that is in uh integrity though in this sense not in not in a sly way with a coyote if it was a fox then i'd probably say something different but as it's a coyote then it's like there's somebody around you or a situation that is going to help you transform um what it is you're trying to resolve my lovelies so having the coyote there i feel it's a ally who will help you and you having the dog spirit energy is showing your loyalty to others where it said you help and guide others and in doing so it heals you okay so we've got all this like green here uh, with the purple very spiritual card this is but it's like your loyalty to others okay transforms their lives but also brings healing for you 
So that is a really, really lovely card. So let's just get one more card out for you then for the end of the week. We had the sun come out, didn't we? But I feel like I just want to get one more card for you, Virgo. What else have we got for Virgo? I feel like as well with the dog and the coyote, the coyote I feel as though it's taking on a small number of people where you would have to speak for some of you. You'd have to sort of speak out or make a speech in front of a small group of work people. That's not going to resonate for all of you, but I feel for some. And yeah, we've got the chariot, which is a lovely card to end on because you're moving out of this back to the drawing board you know, where do I get myself out of these inner struggles that I am dealing with? And it's just saying here, um, things are going to start to pick up, okay? Whereas I feel you've been in this um, energy, let me just go back to the start, this contemplating energy of putting it out to the universe, where you've been stuck on your decisions, just know that um, you will be coming out of this. Okay, you'll be coming out of this and be ready. I want to say ready for action. So my lovely Virgos, um, I hope you can take some elements of this message this week. Don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs. And I will look forward to reading to you next time. So take care, my lovelies. Bye then.